David Peterson will be on the mound for the Mets tonight. It's been a real oddity for Peterson. He has the highest whip among the starters, but the lowest ERA. But there's a couple of things that always happen when he pitches. The Mets win. They're 10 and 3 in his 13 starts, and they score tons of runs. Austin Slater, the 31 year old right handed batting left fielder, stands in. And a 3 2 outside. So making 10 out of 19 plate appearances is an Oriole. In which Austin Slater has reached base, he begins the game with a walk. First time this season that David Peterson's walked the first batter of a game. Rutschman, a switch hitter, but far better right-handed than left. Double play ball hit to Lindor. That'll erase the walk. The Glaciers with the turn. Six four three double play. Two out and nobody on. Boy, when you got that sinker ball, that is a bread and butter pitch for a lefty against a righty if he needs to get out of a jam. 33 home runs for Henderson. He's up to fourth in the American League in homers, sixth in slugging, seventh in on base. Henderson goes down swinging on the fastball, and Peterson has a strikeout to end the top of the first. All righties to face a lefty, Trevor Rogers. Well, there are the numbers. You know, 2 and 11, you're going, oh no. Well, he just, again, two runs are support in 20 of his 24 starts. Very hard to win. Francisco starting the day with a 12 game hitting streak hitting 358 over those 12 games on a one two Rogers nope. strikes him out and that is a terrific change up to start now Mark Vientos having a terrific homestand he's hit in six straight games hit to the right side and threw for a base hit so Vientos poking a sinker the other way and the Mets have a one out base runner and now J.D. Martinez who has great career numbers against the Orioles 20. Uh, 35 career home runs against Baltimore and an 1118 OPS and he drives one out to right center field back in the gap goes Santander near the wall it's out of here J.D. Martinez goes the other way for a two run homer and the Mets jump in front to nothing his 36th career home run against the Orioles on the first pitch he sees from Trevor Rogers and Martinez's 13th home run of the year puts the Mets up to nothing the Orioles are now in a hole and now here comes another power threat in Pete Alonso. Pete Alonso slow ground ball to Rios cuts off Henderson wide throw tag is there from Mountcastle and Alonso retired five to three. The two out now starting Marte he lines one to the center field for a base hit cut off nicely by Kowser in the gap to hold Marte to a two out single. It's Jose Iglesias who has strafed lefties this year 407 against left handed pitching. There goes the runner the pitch inside the throw to second not nearly in time and Marte has a stolen base is now 13 for 13 this season and a ground ball hit to second by Iglesias will get Rogers out of the inning but J.D. Martinez gets the Mets off to a fast start one down and now Jackson Holiday will bat no two coming. And he struck him out, got him with a sinker. So on three pitches, Peterson takes care of Holiday for the second out. Here's Austin Slater, who walked leading off the game. Swing and a miss, got him with the slider. Peterson strikes out Slater to end the inning. Four strikeouts and three innings for Peterson. Francisco Lindora for the second time, struck out his first time up. And a high fly ball to left. Hit too high to get out. Slater circles it. Mark Vientos will bat. He singled and scored back in the bottom of the first. Oh, uh, change, change up, up strikes out Vientos. There's number two for Rodgers, and they've both been on the change. Yeah, he got a base hit the last time to set up the home run by Martinez on a pretty good pitch. But not J.D. Martinez, who jumped on the first pitch he saw and hit a two-run homer his first time up. The 2 0 that's line, and scooped up by Holiday somehow. A lob toss to first, and it's in time. What a play. By the 20 year old Jackson Holiday. A one bounce pick. Here's Gunner. He's homered in four out of five, including a big blow yesterday. The 1 2 is on the outside corner. Strike three called. John Tumpain rings up Gunner Henderson, the slasher. Anyway, here's Anthony Santander batting right. Santander, that one is a fair ball. And it's bobbled by Vientos, who may not have had a play anyway. So Anthony is a two out base runner. Vientos had a long way to go. It was a very slow roller. It looked like it was going to go foul, but it did go right over the bag. And Anthony's a two-out base runner. Here's Mountcastle. Now Castle gets a low changeup and lofts it onto the outfield grass for a base hit. Santander shimmies to second, and the Orioles have back-to-back -back singles with two outs. Keeps it alive for Loy Jimenez. 
That's it toward the hole, smothered by Vientos, and he gets the fourth play. Beautifully done by Vientos, and it keeps the Orioles off the board in the fourth. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning. The Mets with a 2 0 lead, and for your listening pleasure on play by play, nine year old Kingston Nam Corn. Pete Alonso is 0 for 1 today with a ground out. Pete Alonso has 27 home runs this year. Here's the 1 2, and Alonso smacks that one. And it is down for a base hit. It goes to the wall. Pete Alonso is trying for two. He'll make it in there standing. And it is a leadoff double in the bottom of the fourth. Strong. Look at him just driving that ball into the left center. He's field. so yeah. strong he can drive it all the way to left center and it goes to the wall. And exactly. just like that, he's got himself a double. And here's Starling Marte who got himself a single earlier in this game. And he had a stolen base too. It's the 1-1 to Marte. And he bunts. It's oh, and he knocks it down. The throw to first, and he just got Charlie Marte, but he moves up Alonso to third, and it's a, going to be a sacrifice bunt for Charlie Marte. You're right. And here's Jose Iglesias speaking about the game yesterday. He beat out two ground balls. Here's the 2 2 to Jose Iglesias. In oh, mm. and that's called a strike three. Oh, too close to take. What do you think? I, I don't know. I mean, yeah, as my dad always says, too, too, too close to take. The left fielder Tyrone Taylor is on deck. Alvarez is 0 for 1 today. 3-1 coming to Alvarez. Out, up, and in for ball four. And the Mets have runners on the corners now. Two away. And here is Tyrone Taylor, the left fielder. He is 0 for 1 with a lineup today. It is smacked through the hole of base hit. That'll score in Alonso, and Alvarez pulls in at second with an RBI single for Tyrone Taylor. The Mets now lead 3 0 against the Baltimore Orioles in the fourth. Well, Tyrone Taylor has done such a great job all season long, and here a big two out hit. Yeah. Well, kind of a hanging change of Kingston he, up in the strike zone. And he got one right down the middle. And now Harrison Bader will step up to the plate. It is smashed but right at the left fielder and he makes the catch to end the fourth. Kingston that was fantastic. You did a great job and I don't know how much you've practiced your play by play skills but you were spot on one down in the fifth. Now Ramon Urias who lined out to right field his first time up and a line drive down the left field side that ball hooking for the corner off the base of the wall Taylor's throw will be. Well after Arias heads into second. A little sprinkler from Ramon. He's got the Orioles first extra base hit tonight. And Jackson Holiday is going to be the next one to bat. Check of second. Spin and throw over. It's off the glove of Lindor and it's going to get in the left field and Urias will move up. And Lindor was playing right at the bag and Peterson made a bad throw and there's a gift from the heavens for the Orioles. Pitch home. Rolled on the ground. That's a fair ball up the line. Picked by Alonso. Races to the bag and beats Holiday for the second out but because of the air Urias scores and the Orioles are on the board in the fifth inning. It's now a 3-1 game. So two out Lindor is still at second. Here's Alonzo who drilled a double to left center and scored a run in the fourth. On a change up and he walks Alonzo. Bit of a pitch around there. Second walk of the inning. Third of the night for Rogers. Brandon Hyde manager walking out with some intent. So he's got the right hander Selby who was just called up today ready to go in the bullpen with Marte coming up and he makes the call. Three and two. Selby throws as the runners go. Foul tip strike three. Well, Quite that's the what first I'm talking about. Yep. for Colin <laughs> Selby. Yeah. One out and base is empty. Anderson 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts. And he hits it on the ground down to Alonzo. Peterson this time will get over to cover. And the 3 1 put out for the second out. The payoff pitch. Swing and a bouncing ball towards third. Backing up Vientos. He has it. Long throw to first. Right there. Side retired. Peterson cruising through six. David Peterson has not completed seven innings this year. He'll try and do it again tonight. He goes the other way and he serves this into right field for a base hit into the corner. Mountcastle racing for second base and he will make it with a slide. Well there's your leadoff double to begin the top of the seventh. Now Eloy Jimenez a little roller to shortstop so not the right side but Jimenez does advance Mountcastle with one out. Lefty lefty Peterson will stick in there for Kowser. Struck him out. Got it with the low fastball. 
to 95 miles an hour from Peterson for his seventh strikeout of the night. Two men down. Well, here's Ramon Urias. They're going to keep Peterson in left on right. Of course, Ramon does better against right-handed pitchers. And they're called a balk. They called a balk. And that will bring home a run. A balk with a runner at third. And it's a 3-2 game here in Queens. What a break for the Orioles. Home plate umpire John Tumpain yelled balk. And that was a gift. So now the bases are empty with two outs. And in the air to left center field and fairly deep. Bader's on the run. He's looking up. And that baby's gone. And we are tied up at three. Ramon Urias after the balk. He ties this thing up. What a blast by Ramon. 430 plus feet to dead center. Three to three here in the seventh. To J.D. Martinez. Martinez, Alonzo, and Marte in this inning against Aiken, who rolled through 9-1-2 and two in the last inning. And yeah. did not miss with that yeah. fastball. Rip roaring it past Martinez for Aiken's third strikeout and four batters. Aiken pitches in the 3-2. Strike three come. Alonso rung up on a change up away and Keegan Aiken that is three consecutive strikeouts going back to the last inning fastball strike three called might have been a little bit high but Aiken gets the call and he strikes out the side Edwin Diaz into another non safe situation uh, but at least he's out there pitching uh, which he needs to do more often here's Colton Kowser left hand batter Kowser pops one up shallow right field Iglesias out calling side retire Diaz with a one two three top of the ninth Mets will try and walk it off in the bottom the Oriole bullpen has been perfect Colin Selby and Keegan Aiken three and a third perfect with eight strikeouts and now Sir Anthony Dominguez a longtime Philly has only allowed two runs in 20 and two thirds career innings against the Mets. So now Francisco Alvarez who's 0 for 2 and a walk tonight. The Mets have hit one fair ball since the fourth inning. Alvarez swings and he drives one deep left center field. Mullins looks up and it's out of here. Alvarez swings 3 0 and he wins the game for New York with a walk off home run in the bottom of the ninth. First career walk off RBI for Francisco Alvarez and it was a bomb of a home run. His first home run in three weeks and it wins the game for New York four to three.